Tracking some light rain moving through the area this morning, uh, primarily through some of our northern counties. A lot of this uh, is still evaporating before it makes it to the ground. So uh, pulling up the Storm Track 3 app, uh, well, there's some rain out there from Pinckneyville to Mount Vernon, but again, notice as it moves farther and farther east, kind of falls apart. I get a lot of dry air. We have an east breeze around that is a dry wind this morning. Not everybody's going to see rain here to start the day, but uh, there are at least some scattered showers out there. Uh, live view from Mount Vernon. We've got a few raindrops on the camera there in Mount Vernon. Metropolis dry weather, though. Uh, we've actually seen a few showers even late last night move through the Poplar Bluff area. Cape Toronto uh, looks like dry roads there, though, as well. Uh, you can see the areas that at least some of the rain is trying to move in. It is a little cool and despite maybe not a lot of rain actually making it down here to the ground level, it is cooling temperatures back with that evaporation process back in the low to mid 40s right now across southern Illinois uh, down to 42 in Mount Vernon 44 in Marion Cape right now reporting 48 uh, Sykeston at 46 uh, Paducah also reporting 48 degrees kind of a cool blustery day ahead for us could be some pretty uh, damp weather, especially here early the mo this morning uh, this afternoon expecting mostly dry conditions, but we're talking temperatures running about 10 degrees below average for this time of year and that east breeze is not going to help at all. Uh, looking ahead to Thursday, another disturbance moves through our region, brings more widespread rain into our forecast. Uh, I think pretty much everybody is going to see some rain on Thursday. It is still going to remain on the light side, though. Friday, a dry day, but to the cool weather, it's here to stay. Our entire 10 day forecast really featuring temperatures running cooler than average. Disturbance moving through this morning. There's the showers. Uh, most of these have been focused to our west. Notice as they try to move east, they kind of run into that dry air and just fall apart. Uh, to our our north, there is some snow out across parts of Iowa, but uh, it's just warm enough that we are going to continue to see some light rain showers around here. This is the lunchtime hour, low to mid 40s. Notice a couple isolated showers still lingering around and through a good part of the afternoon expecting dry weather, but I can't entirely rule out maybe an isolated shower or two during the mid to late afternoon hours. We're in the mid to upper 40s today, kind of a chilly day this evening. Now, any rain that is still lingering around quickly exits. That northeast wind sticks around though, and we'll drop back in the low to mid 40s initially. Tomorrow morning waking up about 40 degrees, but notice 6 a.m. already tracking a little more wet weather approaching our region and uh, at least showers around through a good part of the day on Thursday. Once again, most of these will be pretty light, but uh, storm system passes on by now by Thursday night into early Friday morning as the cold front sweeps on through the region. That's going to take the rain east of us pretty quickly and not a lot of rain expected, especially in Illinois and Kentucky. We're talking about a tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch of rain in a few areas, uh, slightly more than that, especially near the Missouri Arkansas line where we could see uh, maybe a little over a quarter of an inch and we're not done with the wet weather. Friday will be a dry day, but then here we go into the weekend. More scattered showers start to build back in, especially a Saturday night and into Sunday. There's been a lot of talk about snow. I've already seen it on social media that's coming up this weekend. I can't entirely rule it out, but right now it looks like we will be warm enough to be primarily rain. Showers on the way for Thursday. Friday, uh, 49 degrees will do it for a high day, a uh, high temperature that day. Uh, 48 on Saturday, rain again Saturday night Sunday and of course we're going to spring forward. I'll tell you it could be really tough to wake up on Sunday morning. Not only losing the hour of sleep, but then you're talking about gray skies, cold weather settling in. <sighs> One of those days where you just want to snuggle up under the covers and not get out of bed. Okay, thanks Nick. We'll